coming to you from our GIS studios, I am Anicia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. The Sufra Regional Development Foundation, SRDF, has announced the opening of the long-anticipated Sufra Beach Park. The project was conceptualized 10 years ago when the Sufra Regional Development Foundation, together with the hotel sector, recognized the need for recreational attractions within the area. With assistance from the Taiwanese government, development plans were drawn up. The facility will employ one administrator, two janitors, seven wardens, including one beach ranger, two lifeguards, two hostesses, and one maintenance person. In addition, 11 local entrepreneurs are conducting business within the park. The official opening ceremony for the park has been scheduled to take place on the 5th of April 2019. The United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, is assisting St. Lucia's Cultural Development Foundation, CDF, in identifying and preserving the island's intangible heritage. A five-day capacity development workshop held recently focused on the implementation of the UNESCO Convention for the safeguarding of the intangible cultural heritage at the national level. Intangible cultural heritage encompasses the practices, representations, expressions, knowledge, skills, as well as the instruments, objects, artifacts, and cultural spaces. Residents of Canaries teamed up with the National Volunteer Programme to conduct a major cleanup exercise as part of efforts to ensure the community's resilience to natural disasters and climate change. In the spirit of Kudme, the residents of the community joined in the activity along with 50 volunteers. President of the Canaries Volunteer Chapter, David Henry, hopes that this form of volunteerism can steer residents towards creating a healthier and sustainable environment. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.